Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are doing another buyer's guide series. This is $400 rod and reel combos. Like Matt said, today we're doing $400 combos. If you guys have missed the previous videos that we've done the last few days, 300, 200, $100 combos, we'll leave those down below in the video description. You can click on those links, go watch those videos. But today is Wednesday, $400 combos. You wanna kick it off? For sure. I'm so glad that we're, we're finally at the $400 mark and that's because we have another brand that comes into play. We love Mega Bass Rods. But up until this video, they don't play. They don't have anything in that budget game. Right here is where the Levante finally gets to come in. Levante is a great line of rods, a uh, handful of spinning rods, bunch of casting rods. They're very sensitive. They have great actions. This is the shaky head specifically. I love this rod. Uh, and I paired it up to a Shimano Ultegra. Now I will admit at this $400 price point, we're fudging a little bit. Now granted there are sales, right? On basically everything except Mega Bass. Mega Bass does not participate in sales. They hold their price every day of the year. If you want a Mega Bass rod, you know what it's gonna cost you. Uh, but everyone else is in those sales, whether it says so or not. If you have questions about that, we can help you in the comments. But I'm so glad that we've reached that price point where Mega Bass gets to come in. The Levantes are awesome. That Ultegra is a killer mid-priced reel with a great drag system in it and paired up this is a combo that I fish a lot. Yeah, Mega Bass, the JDM stuff, just Mega Bass in general, such high quality products. I got one coming up here in my lineup too, but I'm glad that we finally get, cause we do, we fish quite a bit of Mega Bass yep. uh, into those higher price points. Uh, I'll start it off, we'll go spinning again. Got the Dobbins, this is the Sierra series, paired up with the Daiwa. This is the LT, Tatula LT. Uh, real smooth reel. Again, Dobbins been around. We fished it, fished Dobbins since the very beginning. Yep. Um, he's added so many different lines. The Sierra is just another one of those lines in between lines, a little higher up, not the top, but uh, again, a good selection of rods. This is actually the 692. Again, paired up with that Daiwa Tatula LT spinning reel. Just a really nice feeling combo. Um, quality all around in this combo. That Sierra series, that's also where we see the branch off into BFS rods from Dobbins. They've got an entire True. line of BFS, but that is an animal for a dedicated buyer's guide Coming a up. few days down the road. And that's why you won't see it in these videos. Uh, I'm going with another spinning. We're doing spinning, then casting. Shimano Zodius. Uh, the Shimano Zodius spinning rods are amazing. I paired this up to the Vanford. Uh, such a solid pairing. This is, this crosses a magical line. When we start talking smallmouth, big smallmouth, going north, Great Lakes, all of a sudden the game just goes like eight notches up in terms of gear, right? All of a sudden you're spending a fortune for high-end gear. This crosses that line where I would take this specific rod, this is the 7.6 light. I would take this rod and a Vanford and go target five plus pound smallmouth no problem. Uh, this is a rod that can throw a hair jig. It can do a lot of those ultra light techniques and you're not doing it in a thousand plus dollar combo, <laughs> right? Uh, but it will handle the, that class of fish. It's a great combo at a great price. Yeah, I love that a lot of these companies are getting back into the longer, lighter spinning rods. You know, for the longest time, we love that Dobbins 792, the 783. So seven yep. foot nine, two power. Now these companies are going in with that, you know, the hair jig stuff in mind, mm -hmm. Ned Rig stuff, light line, long castability, and having that super soft hip. Seven foot six. Uh, that's that's a that's awesome, a killer size. Awesome rod. Another lineup that has that rod available is the Victory. Uh, this is not that this is not that model, but it is available. They have a hair jig rod. Um, but again, the Victory. I've talked about it in last video, but I upped the reel. I paired it up with the Shimano. Vanford. Those of you guys that used to love the Shimano CI4 Plus, this is the replacement to that reel. Mm -hmm. It's buttery smooth. It's light. 
this is a real i don't know if you touched on it in your that was a vanford that was a vanford yep. um like matt said i thought it was um that is a combo he will take north north and chase giant smallmouth this combo as well it has an awesome drag you know when you're fishing four five six pound fluoro that's when it matters you need a good drag system and and this price point allows you to get an awesome rod and an awesome reel without technically bankrupting you <laughs> yes all of a sudden from there little jumps are giant price jumps yes right all right my next one is also a victory and we've been talking a lot about victory uh, they're great rods that give you all sorts of options. I'll leave it at that because Tim just addressed it. We addressed it yesterday. Uh, but what I did here is I went with a higher end reel to create an amazing pairing. This is the 13 Fishing Concept C2. The reason why I went with this, and I did it in a way that would fit the price point. Uh, this is a reel that I fell in love with, what, two years ago. I have a ton, too many of these. Let's just leave it at too many. Um, the reason why is that there are a lot of good workhorse reels, but they're heavy, right? And it's hard to find lighter weight reels that will balance out smaller rods. Like any rod under seven foot is really hard to balance out without spending 400 plus dollars on, on reel. the reel. Yeah. Uh, I love the Aldebaran, but it can't be in this video. The Aldebaran breaks this price point by, by itself. itself. Yeah. Um, the Concept C2 weighs drastically less than other reels, an ounce to an ounce and a half less than similarly priced reels. Uh, and as a result, I'm able to take that reel, pair it up to all kinds of rods, cut my total weight, which is great for fishability. It's also great for the guy with injuries, the guy who goes out on the boat and his back hurts, his elbow hurts, his shoulder hurts, cutting weight out of a combo is a huge deal. Uh, it just makes it easier to keep going because at the end of the day, we just want to keep fishing. <laughs> and that's an awesome combo to do it. Yeah, the weight, nothing else, that is the wow factor, right? We've all been to a tackle shop and picked up a rod or a reel and you're like, wow. Yeah. That's like this a toy? What is it? Yeah, this? you're not feeling the sensitivity in your hand, you're feeling the weight. And when you were the first to tell me about that reel, and I got quite a few now too, <laughs> um, it yeah. is. It's a super light reel in yeah. that price point and no issues. And it's it's a it's an awesome reel. All right. I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of repeat here. Next up for me, I went with the Mega Bass Levante casting rod. Matt talked a lot about it in the spinning. I'm just going to mimic what he said. Uh, it is an, a phenomenal rod, and we're finally getting Mega Bass into these buyer guide, buyer's guides. You know, they don't have a, I know you said budget rod earlier, but, um, you know, Mega Bass is just one of those companies that they are known for their quality. They're, they're known for their craftsmanship. And um, they don't need to come out with a right. A, a, right. A rod they know of that where line. their niche is. They're good at and it, and they're very good at it. And these rods are very good as well. Paired that up. This is the 13 fishing. This is the A2, not as light as Matt's uh, C2. Yep. But it's a workhorse. I have spent a lot of time with this reel. I love this reel. I've caught big smallmouth on it. I've caught big largemouth on it. Uh, I love the cork handles. You know, 13 Fishing for me was a brand I didn't really get familiar with until uh, about two or three years ago. And really impressed with the quality, the longevity, the durability of their products. Mm -hmm. um, but this combo right here, the Levante with the 13 A2, that is an awesome, awesome combo. Again, I can't say enough good things about that A2. It's just a workhorse. It's kind of, it's it's a Corrado 200. You know, that's kind of right. what it is. Right. It's a do everything size and power reel. My next one, I'm going Zodius again, but Zodius casting. Paired up to the Corrado 150. Uh, that Corrado 150 MGL, we've talked about it previously, is an incredible reel by itself. That MGL spool in that reel, you can send it. You can throw that thing so far. The reel is smooth, it's strong, it has two pounds more drag, if I'm not mistaken, than the 200K. Uh, I mean, it's just a bomber reel for like an extra 20 bucks over the 200K. They're very comparable. Uh, killer choice. And then putting that on a Zodius, 
is a joke. That's an I mean, all day. That's an all day, every day combo. That's an all day, every day combo. Yeah. Uh, it's an amazing combo. And what I love in the Zodius line is some of those unique models. The 7.5 heavy, the 7.5 medium heavy that both have that slightly longer handle. I love that. I use that for so many things. I throw A-rigs A -rigs, on yep. them. I throw all sorts of things on them. I spoon on them. The 7.2 medium light, which is a crossover BFS rod, is a rod that I fell in love with this year. I put a ton of time throwing tail spins and blade baits on that rod, not just my 6.10 medium that I did in the past. Uh, just a killer, killer combo. And with all of these, in the video description, we link every rod, every reel in the order that we talk about them. But we're also, for every single one of these, just like I started rattling favorite models, we'll give you favorite models. Because we know that for a lot of people, this price point is a giant jump, right? This is jumping into high-end gear. You are spending to get there. 400 bucks for a combo is a lot of money, and you don't want to miss. So we will give you, with each one of these, our favorite standout models from that line. Can I see that one real quick? Yep. What we haven't talked about yet on the new Zodius line is the changes that they made to this rod to make it yeah. that much better without adjusting the price point. Number one is that carbon monocoque handle, just lighter, more sensitive. Where this was first seen or used, where I was the uh, Poison Adrena rods. Yeah. The, the high end po Poison Adrenas. Now the X Prides have them. But this is, like I said earlier, an all day, every day rod, super light, super sensitive, and a ton of fun to fish. Now I am jumping back in with one more. Oh, okay. I, I always cheat the system. We know that. <laughs> uh, and, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm breaking the $400 price point by a fair margin. But <clears throat> because there are sales, you can get closer, <clears throat> right? But this is the first opportunity, just like we got to bring Mega Bass in finally, you can if you're willing to reach a little bit, you're almost to X Pride. You can, you're close. Just barely reach it. Barely reach it. <laughs> X Prides are 279 when there's not a sale going on. Uh, you're close. Phenomenal. I mean, they just take it to the next level. Even lighter than Zodius. Even more sensitive. Uh, but build for build, both amazing. Right? We use both are on the deck all the time for different techniques. Yep. Uh, I was able to get close-ish with the X-Pride, and I was also able to bring DC. If, if you didn't bring DC, you could do it, right? If you if you use a less expensive reel, you could get an X-Pride into this video. But we're close, where you could go X-Pride to an SLX DC, introduce that digital control, which is very castable for the beginner, the guy that's just branching into higher end gear, as well as for the guy who just doesn't want to deal with the wind, right? Like I use DC a lot on reels where I'm just sending it. Baits that I like to bomb out there and just not worry about it. Like a spinner bait, a bait that will catch in the wind and give me problems. That's a perfect bait for DC. Uh, but that pairing isn't quite in the, <laughs> in the budget, but it's close enough that we had to mention it. By we, I mean I. Yeah, DC is awesome for skipping as well. If you're one of those guys that likes to skip jigs or skip docks, that sort of stuff, skip little swim baits, that's a, a phenomenal reel. All right, last but not least for me, uh, so we got three new lines in this. Sure do. In this uh, category, this price point. You know, we got the Mega Bass Levantes, we got the X Prides, and then we have the Loomis. G Loomis is making nice. its first appearance in these buyer's guides. This is the GCX. This is a... But last year they came out with this lineup uh, more. I, I, I see the the Loomis stuff is more technique specific. I mean, so mm -hmm. much so they got little icons, you know, drawn to tell you what they're on for. The, yeah, on this their, is a swim bait rod. rod. This, this is, is a, a crankbait frog rod. rod yeah. You know, so if you are a guy that likes technique specific rods, I kind of transitioned a few years ago from just all purpose universal rods to having a rod for this technique and a rod for this technique and an a rod for this technique. Um, Loomis is great for that. Mm -hmm. You know, Croy is great for that. Uh, so anyways, don't want to go too much on a rant. This is actually an MBR. <laughs> you know, Matt, you probably heard Matt rave about the MBR, the mag bass rods, uh, in several of his videos and from in conquest the, in, down in the past, but now it's down in a lower price point talking about price point. I, I 
dropped reels a little bit. Matt went with that Corrado 150, the $20 difference. I went with the Corrado 200 to get this rod into the price nice. point. But this is another all day, every day uh, combo. Like I said, that GCX line, new to Loomis, newer to Loomis, a lot of technique specific rods, but you get that same uh, Loomis quality, sensitivity, weight that you're used to knowing with that G Loomis name. I didn't realize that GCX made it into this video. That is awesome. Because yes, they're same way that we're talking about Shimano bringing actions down. Loomis has such unique actions and they bring it down their line. And at GCX, you're affordable, but you're getting those actions that you otherwise would have to get out of an NRX or a Conquest. Right. Uh, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. We are still going every single day. Yes. We are going tomorrow right over the top of the holiday and we will just keep right on trucking from there. Uh, we have a blast with these. We know you guys do too. Tomorrow's $500 combos, then high end, and we just keep going from there. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.